uh, your reference. So the recap of today is that we can tell the end behavior by looking at the degree and the leading coefficient. So if you look at this function, it's not in standard form, okay? But we do know we can rearrange it so that it's in standard form, right? Standard form, well, you know what? You don't even have to go to standard form, all right? Let me tell you. Degree, what is degree? Highest exponent. So look at all the exponents. What's the highest exponent? It's four, okay? So that means I'm gonna look at my note packet and we're talking about four is an even number, okay? It's an even degree function. Now, let's look at the leading coefficient. It is negative two. So that's a negative even degree function. So the shape of the graph is gonna be like this, okay? So then, let's check out the statement. As x approaches positive infinity, meaning check out the right arrow. I'm checking out the right arrow y or f of x is going to positive infinity. That means arrow should be pointing up. Look at the right arrow. Should it be pointing up? No, it should be pointing down. So automatically I can cross out these two answers, right? Because it tells me, look at the right arrow, should be pointing up. Psych, it should be pointing down. So I'm sticking to these two. Let's check out the next statement. As x approaches negative infinity, that means check out the left arrow. Function should approach positive infinity. It should be pointing up. Look at the left arrow. It's pointing down. It should not be pointing up. So my final answer is last one. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay. So again, why don't you try this by yourself? Degree is 6. That's the highest exponent. So we're talking about even number. 6 is an even number. Leading coefficient is negative 9. Okay, so it's negative even, so the shape, both ends are pointing down, right? So I don't even care what the x says. I know f of x should be pointing down. Pointing down. Okay, so maybe these two. Let's check it out. Pointing up? No. Pointing down. I need both of the y's to be pointing down, okay? This was easier because I have even degree, okay? Now, let's go try the next one. All right, so then now we're working the other way, okay? You know what I'm saying? So look at the shape of this. You see, it's pointing in different directions. Different directions means it's odd. Look, left, right, left, right. They're pointing in different directions. Now, which one does this look like? Looks like this one. So that means it's odd and a positive leading coefficient. Okay? Now there are real distinct zeros. Zeros are x intercepts. It's wherever the graph crosses the x axis. I'm looking at the x axis. How many times does the graph touch the x axis? One, two, three, four, five. Five x intercepts. Now, relative extreme values, scholars, extreme values, we learned it in unit three, okay? Extreme values refer to both maximums and the minimums, okay? So let me look at all the hills, one, two, three. Let me look at all the dips, four, five, six. So we have six extreme values. Okay, let's try one more. Again, you try it by yourself. The shape of this matches with this one. Look at your note packet. That means the degree is odd. Coefficient should be positive. Okay, hello, left arrow down, right arrow up. Zeros is wherever x and the graph touches one, two, three, four, five. Relative extreme values. Once again, extreme means all the hills and the dips. So one, two, three, four. Four extreme values. Okay. 
All right, let me show you the one where it says, okay, you see it says relative maximum values. So maximums, remember, are the hills, one and two, okay, two hills. Uh, this one is, again, odd because they're pointing in different directions. Leading coefficient is positive because started from the bottom, now we up there, okay? There are, if you're confused, look at your chart, please. Look at your note packet. There are how many zeros? One, two, three, four. Let's count this as just one, okay? Four, five. Five distinct zeros. Okay, so hopefully that kind of helps you re refresh your minds on some of the old vocabularies as well as today's lesson. Okay, you don't need to show me uh, scrap work for this homework. Okay, get them done, scholars, get them done.